For more than a month, the people living at this North Austin apartment complex say they've had no gas. That means no hot water, no heat, and for those with gas stoves, no ability to cook. Residents say just today as we're filming this, they finally have their gas back on. We are listening to KXAN investigator Kelly Wiley. She's been looking into complaints from Austin renters who have gone nearly a month without basic utilities. Kelly discovered it's at least the second time in two months different Austin apartment complexes have had these same problems. So she sat down with some tenants and Austin Code to understand why. Well, I really worry about what I got to do and got going on, you know what I'm saying? Juwan Curtis has lived at Midtown Flats for nearly two years. He says in that time he's experienced rat infestations. And for the last five weeks, an apartment without basic utilities. They're like with the showers and stuff. I just put the hot water on the stove because it's electric. I put it on there, let it get warm. The management for Midtown Flats says it took so long because of setbacks with plumbers. So our, our first priority was to get the system up and functional. Um, we did bring everybody dinner out in the courtyard, five different evenings. Um, the households that were most affected, the ones that did not have working stoves, are being offered a rent discount um, for the inconvenience. On that same part of town, Ashford Costa Azure Apartments just recently had their gas turned back on after spending nearly four weeks, including the Thanksgiving holiday, without hot water and heat. Matthew Noriega is a division manager for Austin Code. In both cases, after several days, tenants were the ones to call the city to make complaints. We do follow our policy and procedures. When we send out a notice of violation, we're given the time frame to, to have, make the repairs to accommodate the tenants. And there may be an extension that may be granted. Uh, it, it could be uh, in, in 30 days, it could be in 45 days and 90 days, just depending. 30 days seems like a long time to be going without those utilities. That's why, once again, the, the action plan is so important because the action plan will show, okay, we have units that are available for the tenants to maybe for bathing, for sanitary reasons. In the case of the apartment that went without heat on Thanksgiving, Austin Code instructed the landlords to provide heaters and hot plates until repairs were made. According to the city, the landlord did that. But residents we spoke to said the management did not provide accommodations to them while they were without gas. Residents at Midtown Flats say they haven't gotten much help either. They respond on their own time type deal. I call, text, email, they don't respond unless they want to. The management for Midtown Flats did say it was suggested to them to move everyone out of the complex while these repairs were being made. They told us because it was so close to the holidays, they chose not to. Reporting in Austin, Kelly Wiley, KXAN Investigates. We also spoke with VASTA, that's a nonprofit project helping renters improve their housing conditions. The group told KXAN investigators this is a common issue, especially in the most affordable parts of Austin. And they said it can take months before a landlord faces a fine for violations, but they do have some advice. Document your problems with pictures, keep emails, and take screenshots of maintenance requests. Number two, report the issues to Austin Code immediately by calling 311. He says more complaints can equal quicker action. Then talk to your neighbors as they could be experiencing the same issues.